Hey, stop. Come up to
So, the general translation of this verse is that the jiva, because of being forgetful of Krishna, since time immemorial, and being averse to the service of Krishna, he is undergoing so many miseries at the hands of the external energy maya. So, from this, one may conclude that once we were all with Krishna in Galok Vrindavan Dham, and somehow or other, for some reason, we gave up the service of Krishna and fell to this material world. So this conception is quite absurd, because in the spiritual world, all living entities are fully absorbed in love for Krishna. They are called ragatmic devotees. Ragatmic means that their deep loving attachment for the lotus feet of Krishna is in their atma, it is in their soul. It can never leave them. Even if they want to forget Krishna, it is quite impossible. So, from where have the jivas in this world come? In Jaiva Dharma, Srila Bhaktino Thakur has explained that in Golok Vrindavan, all the jivas have manifested from Baldev Prabhu. Then he has described that in Parav Paravyom Vaikunt, in the Vaikunta Loks, all the jivas serving Narayan, they have expanded from Sankarsha. These two varieties of jivas are called Nitya Siddha. They are eternally perfect. They have always been in the service of the Lord and they can never leave that service. In addition to this, because they are called the Ragatmic devotees, their love for Krishna and for the Ishtadev is there in the Atma and they are under shelter of Swarup Shakti. There is no Mahamaya. Pali Jog Maya is there. And no Mahamaya. So they cannot forget Krishna. So they will always be engaged in serving Krishna or Narayan or Ram or Nishinga who are there in Vaikuntha. No question of forgetting. So the Krishna Lok and Vaikuntha planets, they are far beyond the jurisdiction of Maya, of the illusory potency. Then the third category of Jeev. It is described that when Bhagavan is existing with his complete potencies, at that time when he expands himself, then those expansions are called Swansa. Mm -hmm. Those expansions, Swansa, they are Vishnu Tattva. They are Bhagavan, different forms of Bhagavan himself. But when Bhagavan is existing, with, equipped only with his Jiva Shakti, at that time when he expands himself, those expansions are called Vibhin Angsa Tattva. Vibhin Angsa Tattva, meaning separated parts and parcels of Bhagavan. So that Vivinang Satattva is the Jiva. Hmm? These uh, Jivas, they are manifested from the Mahavishnu. And those Jivas, they can enter into the clutches of Maya, being covered over by false ego, subtle body and gross body. We know that Krishna has expanded as Baladev. Baladev expands into Sankarshan and the first chapter of Yuha, then another chapter of Yuha and Narayan, and then we have the Purusha avatars. The first Purusha avatar is called Mahavishnu, and he is situated, he is lying in the causal ocean. The causal ocean is the marginal line between the spiritual realm and the material realm. So because the jivas 
are manifested from Mahavishnu, who is in the marginal line between the spiritual and material worlds, it is concluded that the jiva, the Tatasta jiva, has never been in the spiritual sky. He has never been in the spiritual world. So, so the proper understanding of the position of the jiva, jiva tattva, was explained by Prem Prayojan Prabhu, that the jiva soul is emanating from the tatashta region. And tata, sta, means situated on a perimeter, on a demarcation line, like compared to the line where the uh, ocean, where there is uh, sand and then there is water. But there is an imaginary line uh, which is there in between. So in the same way, separating the uh, spiritual realm from the material realm, as he said in the causal, in the Karana Samudra, there is this Tatashta region. And in that Tatashta region, the Jiva, the Jiva Shakti, the Jiva souls of this material creation have emanated. So they are not in the same category as those souls that are situated in the Paravyom, in the Vaikuntha region, and also in the Goloka Dham region. Because there they are Nitya Siddha, they are eternally liberated. And they are situated eternally in their, in their uh, rasa, their swarup, their eternal constitutional position of serving Krishna in one of the five rasas there, in that region. So, <clears throat> the living entity here uh, has never had this manifestation, this fully developed relationship, this rasa with Krishna, because if he did, it would not be possible for the jiva soul to fall within this region. Uh, Krishna also says in the Bhagavad Gita, Yadgatva na nivartante tadhama paramam mama. He's describing my dhamma paramam mama, that supreme dhamma of mine. If one goes there, Yadgatva, then na nivartante. He never returns again to this region. So that also means that if someone is there, they never come here. So, uh, if we simply even try to conceive of the position of the jiva souls within that spiritual realm, and uh, through this Gaudiya Vaishnava philosophy and Siddhanta, we come to understand that the nature of the life, the, the existence of the jiva souls there, is that they are fully absorbed in Satchit Ananda existence. There is no question of maya, there is no question of illusion. The jiva souls there are, are fully absorbed. And uh, just like here, the jiva souls are fully absorbed in trying to enjoy this material realm for, uh, for their selfish, centered gratification. In that region, all the souls are completely, fully absorbed in serving the uh, senses of Krishna. Or one of the manifestations of Krishna in one of the different planets there, the different lokas. So the jiva soul could not have fallen to this region from that position because there is no maya there. As Gurudev said, there is only yoga maya potency. And this yoga maya potency has these souls enwrapped fully in the ecstasy of serving Krishna. And there is uh, the conception of time uh, is eternal there. The conception of past, present, and future as it exists here is not existing there in the same way. Everything is simply arranged for the satisfaction of the Supreme Lord and all jivas there are fully uh, developed in their relationship. So they cannot fall from that position. But sometimes it is said that the jiva soul came from there. 
There is this, this misconception and this bogus understanding is being propagated because of misunderstanding the statements that our Srila Prabhupada has made in his books. And I can say that in my own personal experience, uh, when I first became connected with the Krishna Consciousness Movement, it was being explained in this manner, that at one time we were with Krishna, we were situated there in his abode with him, and we had some particular rasa with him there as either cowherd boy or gopi like this. And at one point we became envious of Krishna as the supreme enjoyer, and because of that envy, we fell down from that position into this world and became enwrapped in this suffering condition here. So, if we revive our Krishna consciousness, then our same rasa again will be revived, like automatically, like a flash. Simply you perform your Krishna conscious activities here now in this life, and then again you will be reinstated in that position. But this is, first of all, this is not substantiated anywhere, you will not find this statement made anywhere in any one of Srila Prabhupada's books. It's stated in this way, that at one time the jiva was a cowherd boy or a gopi in Goloka Vrindavan. Never one place has he said this in his books, and you can also check in the folio. He will never say it like this. He will say sometimes in the manner that the jiva soul was with Krishna, with Krishna, but what does with Krishna mean? It does not necessarily have to imply that one was in this complete uh, state of fully developed rasa with Krishna, but rather that he was here within this material world, uh, in this Tatashta region, and that is also with Krishna, with, within Krishna's energies, and manifested from there, from Mahavishnu. So, it should be understood very clearly that it is not possible for a jiva soul to fall from the Vaikuntha region. They are eternally liberated and they are infallible. But in this material world the souls are fallible. And that is our position here within this realm. Is anyone better? Yes. Yes. Asking that, oh, yes, that Maharaj Chitraketu he was liberated so. And also Jai Vijaya Vyar Sarhim Narayan fully. But they came from Baikun and they became first Hiranyakaspo, Hiranyasi, then Ravan and Kumbhakarna and then Sishpatampa. And they were killed by Krishna himself for his manifestations. So in this way a person serving Krishna in Guru Vrindavan, they can fall down, no harm. <clears throat> the example of Jai and Vijay, in particular in the Srimad Bhagavatam, is illustrative of a particular, we should understand correctly, what is this apparent fall down of the servitors of Narayan. First of all, they were situated as the gatekeepers in Vaikuntha. But the original cause is that Lord Narayan desired to perform a particular lila, a particular pastime. And when he wants to perform a pa particular pastime and taste a certain type of rasa, he must have his devotees uh, uh, take a particular position in order for him to exchange with his devotees. So, by the supreme Yogamaya potency, because Yogamaya arranges, Whatever is the, de the will and the desire of the Supreme Lord, Yogamaya knows this and she makes the arrangements. So the arrangement was made that this apparent uh, uh, offense or aparad was committed by them uh, when the four Kumaras came there and then uh, they became angered that they were stopped from entering and then they cursed, uh, they cursed Jai and Vijay. And then immediately also Lord Narayan came there and he wanted to settle the situation, and but the servitors, they agreed that for the service of their Lord, that they will come within this material world, and they will take the, the form of demons. They were actually given the choice that they could either have three births as demons, yeah, three births as demons, or is it seven? Seven, seven births as devotees. But they wanted to return very quickly to their Lord. So they chose to take only three births.
It has told clearly. First I want to tell this paya Krishna Bhuli Sei Jiva Anadi Bahirmu. What is the meaning of Anadi? No beginning. So no beginning means from the beginning, the creation or when jivas, when all the jivas were, came out from Vishnu or anywhere. From beginning, Bhairmukh, never serving Krishna. In this, very clearly it has been written. Anadi Bhairmukh, never they have served Krishna. Never they have served Narayan. So it is clear itself in this. No doubt, nothing, that they came from Golok Vaikuntha or Vrindavan. Never they served. In case of Jai Vijay, it has been told that in Vaikuntha, Narayan wished in her, is in his heart, that I have tasted so many kinds of rush, but now I want to taste beer rush. Beer means? Shivori. Shivori. At once, their associates Personal associates, Jai Vijay Vaidya. Jai and Vijay, what is the meaning of Jai? They have conquered forever Maya. Vijay, Vishesh Rupena, in a very special way, they have conquered this Maya for always. They can never come in Maya. Never. Maya can control and touch them. So by name it is real. They are clear. So Jai Vijay at once knew the intrinsic mode of Narayan. There are three kinds of servants. Beginning from Gurudev. Those who really know the inner mode of Gurudev or Krishna. They are high class of Uttam servant. And those who follow when uh, Gurudev tells that you should bring this without hesitation, without any doubt, without any doing, no, 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 If they follow, then they are Madhyam. And those, if Guru will, or Krishna will tell, oh, do this. But if I cannot do this, bring that person, call this person, if that person is not there, then what happens? So he makes so many questions. And he makes late. Then he third class Boga servant. In this world, when we are practicing bhakti yoga and when we will be uttama adhikari, then we can know all the wishes of Gurudev and all the wishes of Krishna. Then we will be liberated. Unless now, after being uttama adhikari, uttama mahabhagavad, then sarup siddhi and then vastu siddhi, then going there. So they are all know the intrinsic mode of Narayan or Krishna. So Jai Vijay knew. Now they are thinking how to fulfill the wish of my Prabhu. If we can, we are fighting with him and testing, making him test the beer rush, then it will be artificial like in dramas, like here and there.
So he cannot test a real that tears. So we should try to be not artificial, really like this, and then he will relish all these things. So the prayer, Prabhu, first time being, we should be totally forget that you are my Prabhu. And then we can give you the taste of Virras. What is Virras? Narayan knew the inner mood of his servants and he became very pathetic. And kindly he arranged something and he brought four Kumars, four Kumars there. They were not able to come, they were not qualified to come, but anyhow by the fragrant of Tulashi that was given to his lotus feet and very fragrant chanda, Malaya. At once it came in the nose of where they were in Maharshi Lok. And at once they were attracted. And Brahma has wished that, oh my sons, they have become Brahmapadi. So how I can change into Bhakta? So he prayed to Narayan and that is why by the prayer of Brahma, uh, no, Narayan arranged all these things and he at once attracted the Rishi. Otherwise, never he can attract it. Without the mercy of any devotee, Krishna or Narayan does not accept anyone. So he kindly attracted uh, four Kumars and they went and Narayan arranged everything by Yoga Maya that they should come and then anger it, not anger but a uh, semblance of anger should be there. Not harmful, but there should be. So they told that you cannot go. In this way, naked and so much poor. Dust is everywhere. Why you are going in this way? You should go in a mood of service to serve Narayan. This is the no, not mood. Like a man, you are going there. At once they became in Golok Vindavan or in Baikund. No place of ego, no place of anger lust, anything of Maya. Hmm? But it came through Yoga Maya. Because Narayan wished it. And Yoga Maya knew that Narayan wants this. So he made like this, just a thing. And they became angry and told that you are not able to qualify to be here to serve Narayan. Narayan is no fear. So you must go to this world and become Deva. At once, Narayan took away his Maya and appeared with them. When he came, at once, Maya fled. That this symptom went away. Anger went away. And they realized what happened. In Paipunt, why we have this anger, we are innocent, so we have done so wrong things, we are offenses like, because they were coming from this world, so they thought. And Jai Vijay, oh, very good, nothing. And at once Narayan came and told, this offense is mine, not of my Why? Why he told? He told, false are really he told. But really, because he has inspired them to do so. So actually this offense was of whom? Narayan, he has made all these arrangements. So there was no 
softens of Jai Vijay. But they are now feeling that, oh, why did we make so that they become anger? So we are also in. But they are so happy that now we have chance to be like a demon and we will fight so in such a way that he will remember forever. Narayan. And that is right. But Narayan told, Oh, Parishay, Sattusan. For this, they told, My Jai Vijay will go to world. And for them, I will have to go there. For three lifetimes. And that is why they came to this world. And this was like a drama. Not really that they were they were fall from there. They were not anadi baddha. And being there, Jaya Vijay there, in, in one, one sure. manifestation, they became here Jaya Vijay and Shakti. And again, they became Jagai Madhai. Also Ramana Kumakaran. But they were serving always there also. So this mystery we should try to do. They, they never fall. They were also at that time being part. Hirnakashpu, Hirnaksha, Ramana and all Sishupaldan. They are always serving and in pure rush to, to make Prabhu to test pure rush. And also Krishna or Ramachandra or Nishinkadev they trusted these things. This thing about seven lifetimes as a devotee is not true. This choice. So many times? He said he did, no. He did three times as a demon or seven times as a devotee. Anywhere, no. Never, never. It cannot. So here, they were never Bahir Mukh. And they were never controlled by Maya. Same as Chitra Ketu Maharaj, when he was liberated. And then, again he was caused by Parvati. It is not right. We should try to know all these things. They were never. Vishwanachakvarti had told that if anyone thinks like that, they were controlled by Maya and they were fallen. They are fallen. They are making some offenses in it, their lotus feet. So, we should know that a jeev in this world who has achieved the Shuddha Sattva or Bhav, he cannot fall down. Never. Hmm? And those who are Sarup Siddha, what we speak of them? Hmm? So they will never fall down. So if they are Vastu Siddhi and they are, they are serving there, Krishna always there, their maya, maya cannot be. It has written that Bhakti Yogena Manasi Samyak Pandhite Amale Apashat Purusham Mayancha Jada Apashayam. Maya, there are two Maya, Jog Maya, Maha Maya. In that background throw or after Vijaya, no Maya at all, only Jog Maya. Ichha Shakti, Para Shakti, always arranging to meet all the souls with Krishna and making service. So always Maya there. Another Maya can be in this front side of Krishna. Bhakti Yogena Manasi Samyak Amale Apashyata Purusham Mayancha Jada Aparsayam Jayasam Mohitam Jeevan Jayasam Mohitam in this world. And they are anadi. No time. So from beginning they are Maya Bhakti. But once you should know this thing. That by constitution, 
all the jiva are chetan vashtu. What is the meaning of chet? There are chetan, chet, chet and achit. Chet, who has some free desire and some taste of independence in thinking freely. And second, sukh dukhi anubhuti. Anubhuti, feeling of those who have experience. They are chid vastu, but they are very intentional, very. So, when they came from Mahavishnu, from Tatastha Sakti, they, by constitution, they are chit. In constitution, there is huh? consciousness. Consciousness is always. And they have potency to serve Krishna. Like a sheep, not servitor. Only they have tendency. And they have this constitution. Uh, what I told? Just now your word. Potency. Like in a sheep there is potency to be fruit, to be free, to be so many things. So in that jeev who are innumerable, lakhs and lakhs in Ad Mahavishnu. Yeah. But they have this sheep, in sheep, potency of serving Krishna, but it is covered with Maya. They have never served Krishna. So when they are seen towards Par Jagat, Vaikuntha Jagat, they at once attracted to there. And when they see towards this illusory Maya, they are attracted. How you know that Ajami at first, he was very good person, very chest chest person. And he was always serving his father, mother, doing all Vaidic activity, always home, home and every day. He was a very pious and religious person. But he, when he went to the forest to collect some dry woods and flowers or anything for himself and his father, mother, and he saw half-naked any prostitute with any person. Both were drinking and making so much bad things. And he could make cheat. He had no realization of Krishna. He was in marginal line. Though he was first person. But he had no taste. Experience for even he has no sadha for Krishna, no tendency to serve Krishna. If this tendency, desire to serve Krishna, they are all. If they are all. And always in association, he could never have thought. Like Haridas Thakur, you see? Like prostitute with Haridas Thakur, he, she never felt again. So, uh, what I was telling? Nagna was coming. 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 Nagna Eyes. Lacks and lacks in Europeans. Jews are coming. And all Anadi Baddha. So if they are coming, and if by association any devotee, your devotee has planted that seed, bhakti seed, and from beginning, Shraddha, Nishta, Ruchi, Asakti, and Bhav. So much practicing bhakti yoga 
and he uh, got Sarup Siddhi and after that Vastu Siddhi and then he took birth in the home of gopis and there began to serve Krishna and if he is coming by accident that everything he practiced became like zero. So if this Siddhanta will come that Jiva serving Krishna and they fall down from there. Then all Jivas have chance to follow. And then Bhagavad Gita and all Shastra, Srimad Bhagavat will be So only to tell something to to disciples, Swamiji may have written something, but not like that that they are called from. <laughs> So many times the devotees were editing Swamiji's words. The devotees were editing Swamiji's words and they thought, oh, it could not be like it should be written. We have seen in Sajami Charitamrita many instances where they did not really understand what is Raganuga, what is Ragatmika. And they are misrepresenting misrepresent, their spiritual master. <coughs> Whenever Srila Swami made, made statements like that, <clears throat> it was only sometimes in his darshans and sometimes in his letters, but he's never, never, never one time written it actually in his books like Bhagavatam and Bhagavad Gita. Well, In Swami Maharaj's purport to the story of Jayan Vijay and their coming to this world, Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Maharaj, Srila Prabhupada has written at the end of his purports on this topic, the conclusion is, no one falls from Vaikuntha. Must be so you should <coughs> always take this reason that you have not fallen down Anyone cannot fall down from there. Hmm? Uh, what is? Na, na parma. And there are so many slopes. Like Om Vishnu Paramam Padam Sada Pashyanti. What is Sada Pashyanti? So never fall down. From Srimad Bhagavatam, lakhs and lakhs slopes are that you never Many times devotees and general people are thinking we have committed some offense, some sin towards God, towards Krishna, and that is why we are here. And they are always thinking, oh, I'm a bad person. Krishna, so it is never it has been written that they have done offenses. Never. Never. There is a there is a book in East Coast was published about the Jiva's position and they give the example of Kala Krishna as he left the Lord and they give the example that He was not in Vaikuntha and he was not serving Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Against the will of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu went to the Bhartari. So this example is quite wrong. Quite wrong. He was not a no parikar. No, he never been in Never. So you have no doubt in this. On this. Swamiji cannot never can commit any mistake. Never he can. It is only due to ignorance to know that. We should try to reconcile all this. Also um he made the point that sometimes it's stated that the jivas come from Krishna Lila. In Chaitanya Charitamrita, it specifically states that Krishna, he has his different pastimes. His pastimes are the loka, and then his expansion, Narayan, he has his pastimes of Vaikuntha, and also Mahavishnu, Karadashai Vishnu, he has his pastimes. Yes. So one time, Nitya Lila, Vishnu, Vishnu, Padastha, Prasitya, Shishma, Shri, Goga, Swami, he said, 
So when it's saying that he's come from Christian leader, the Jesus, has, by the Jesus has come from Christian leader, which Christian leader has he come from? He's come from that Christian leader yeah. and that child Lohar, it is conflict. Very calm side. Yeah. So he should try it very calm side. Yeah. Then? He also told me that the three types of Jiva. I have read. Uh, <coughs> he has sent me one book. Personally, he sent me. Huh? Um, his name was signed in that book and he personally sent to me that. I know this. And he was, in all matters, in all Siddhan, he was one with me. You mentioned in Malaysia that the Supreme Absolute Truth is complete. Nothing is outside of the Supreme Absolute Truth. Therefore, there must be a situation within the Absolute Truth that the living entity can forget the, his relationship with Krishna. And that is why there is this situation. That doubt may come. This is the cannot forget Krishna if he has stuck only a second minute in him. Then Maya cannot go to him. Because Yoga Maya has been turned. Bhakti has come. Bhakti means Yoga Maya. So he will never fall. Now, our time is going to be over. So many devotees will go with me in Fiji. But so many cannot go. They will have to be here in Australia. I am very happy. Especially in Mamalamba. Our classes were so good. And I was very much satisfied there. So many devotees daily used to come and And they served me fully. So I am so much satisfied. Now, for time being, that separation may come. But that separation should be for happiness. You should think me and I will think you in our world. And we will daily renew all these things, what I have told, how you are hearing all these things, all these things. And be with me always in Vrindavan. Sometimes in Yugavardhan, sometimes in Vashana, sometimes we may be in our being. So you should not think that uh, these are only words, words. Really. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was uh, telling all the devotees after Rath Jatra festival, now you should return back to Navati and then go. Then they ask questions, especially the devotees of Kulin Gram. What is Kulin Gram? Right? You should know that in Kulin Gram, even the dogs of devotees were so much high class of devotees. Even dogs, what they speak of devotees. So they ask this question, Prabhu, now you are sending me, us, to our home. We will go. But when we will return to our homes, what should we do? Please tell us. And we will do, we will follow your words. He told that you should go return back to your homes. Always chant Harina. <laughs> and serve Krishna, and thirdly, serve devotees. 
the devotees again asked, we can chant name as you are telling, whether we are with offense or so unwanted, anath, we may do it, no harm. And we will worship Krishna, no harm. But how to serve devotees? How you will know that who is devotee, who is not devotee? So we want to. In three years he told, told three different things. But not different things. Same thing. But we can think like different things. One thing to talk. They told that those who are taking, those who have taken one, even one time Krishna in their whole life, that should be honored like Krishna. By doing pranam by mind, by heart. Then next year, again they ask the same question. They told that those what uttering all these names, all these, then they are but Vishnu and you should serve. And then third year he told that those uh, by seeing them, if Krishna name comes automatically in the heart of the body, by seeing only by their darshan, you should know that they are pure Vaishnava and they should be shut by all senses. Like pure Bandhu. Pure Bandhu means? Intimate. And you should shut. Here none of them are Kanishta. Even one nap name who is chanting with a realization and transcendental name, sometimes in his life, once the name had danced, then he is Vaishnava Madhya Madhikari. Madhya Madhya At any time, once evening, even. Automatically it has come on their son and they have talked, their name has dawned. Then you should see that he is Vaishnava Paddhavadikaya. And those who are chanting always, not criticizing anybody. They have known these worldly sides. Always chanting. Nainangala dasu dharaya padanangada gadavu. They should be honored with God. And like Narad, like Shukadek Vashwani, like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, like Rupshanathan, like Rashikananda, like Siddha Bhakti Vinod Thakur, like Vishnuna Chakratitha, seeing them automatically, if the souls are conditional, even, Oh, Krishna name becomes. So they must be regarded as Uttam Mahabhagavat. But those who are worshipping Krishna and they are practicing by their this ton, material ton, they are Kanishta, worshipping by yes? But we should know that they are in our group. One day they will be pure Vaishnava. So they should be honored like Kanishta Vidari. By our association, in inspiring them, Hari Nam, Hari Katha, so that they, they, one day they will come in Madhya Vidari. And then Uttam So we should know all these things. And we should try to shun. One thing he might add it. Jahar Komala Shabdha Se Kanishtha Jam. Those who 
Faith is likes. We and sampling. And in bad association, it can be distinguished. Extinguished. And there can be maya body or anything, sahiya, sakhi bhegi. And in the association of good devotees, they will be, they will be improved, developed in madam and then uttam also. If they are always having good association. So, they are like Anishtadika. And those Shraddha Dirha, Shastra Jukti Dur, Nahi Jane, Dirha Shraddha. He has so much, very strong faith in Krishna. And desire of serving Krishna is so much strict and strong. But he does not know all the Siddhans established truth. He knows something, but he cannot argue. Sometimes may be defeated by Mayavadi or other, but he cannot <laughs> give up. He will not give up life. Kanishta Adhikari may give up, change their lives, but each person knows. So they are Madhya Madhikari. And they are whom? Their Shraddha is so. Shastra Jakti Sunipun. All he knows, all this established truth, and he can defeat any Maya body or anybody. And also he desire to serve Krishna has come to Ashakti and Hayastesa. They are Puttamadikari Tare Samsa. So we should take all and reconcile them and try to become first from Kanishta to Madhyam, then Madhyam Kanishta, Madhyam Uttam, then Madhyam, uh, Madhyam Madhyam, and then Madhyam Uttam, and then gradually he will come Uttam Kanishta, Uttam Madhyam, and then Uttam Uttam, and then Sarupshiddhi will be, and after that Vasusuddhi will be, and our life will be successful. Gold. I want that. Next year you should call me hankering and internally so that. I should be charmed and should, must I should come. It is your duty. I always want to come. But if you call like that, that Gajaraj called Narayan. Drop the call. Krishna. Krishna. Krishna, if you like and you will want that I should come, then really you should call me and give letters or you can come to India also and I wish to come, especially in Mombalambad and want to discuss so many things. I have given very little, very little. I want to give more and more.
also